we had to react to the spring football that was going on, man. Yeah. You know, we had the USFL making their debut this week, uh, this past weekend, and then we also had T.O., Hall of Famer, Terrell Owens, making his uh, return to the gridiron in the fan-controlled football league. Uh, I'll start with the T.O. news because I'm a T.O. fan. I was happy about it to see that my man, 48 years old, still getting it done. First catch that he had, first pass attempt, first catch that he has in the game, double coverage, jump ball in the end zone, Tutty. It was beautiful to see. My man still got the juice. And then not just that, he then, not, not, it wasn't in the moment, but after scoring his touchdown, he did eventually work his way to the broadcast booth and then started to do commentary as well. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool, man. That was at the end of the game. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was, it was pretty like dope, man. the last play of the game. They were like, it was pretty oh, dope, man. too little, too late. He finally caught one. Because did you mm. see the right? Dude, he dropped a ton. I'm not even going to lie. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> It's all good. He dropped it's the time, but the chill. quarterback was there. I want to say chill, the but the quarterback say, was going I'm putting on the quarterback, man. And it wasn't Manziel. Manziel was not playing in that. Even though he does play with Manziel, they're on the same team. Manziel did not play in that game. But yeah, he needs Manziel yeah. for next game. Yeah. I'm just happy to see my man T.O. be able to get a tidy, man. He looked fine. I mean, he was burning the corner a couple times. Yeah. He was a quarterback that just sucked, and he had a couple of his drops come back. That was but all. he always has drops. He le- he usually would leave the league in drops, but then he'd also go and ball out with tighties, receptions, yeah, he was and separation. yards up and stuff. Absolutely. I just don't know how good the cornerback is. Oh, man. We grade him on the curve? Uh, don't you do that? It's T.O. He's 48. If a 48-year-old is running by anybody that's on that field, I tip my cap to the 48-year-old. If the question is... You brought up curve. If, if the question is, would you like to see him in the NFL? Yeah, I would. I've seen enough. I'm ready to see him in the league. Let's let's bring him Are on. You? I've is seen enough. enough? <laughs> he, he, double coverage, jump ball. I've seen enough. He, he can still run routes. I've seen enough. We can work on the hands. We can, you know, T O T O T O. That's what he does. You know. Yeah, you just. I think that's a repetition. Thing. Yeah, yeah. You just gotta get back in. The, you know, get back in the flow. And I'm sure the football side is different too. Now. The Johnny Manziel T.O. combo, I'm actually kind of interested. I'm not going to actually watch the games, but I, I might watch some highlights. Guys. Yeah, I watch the highlights. That'll be kind of interesting. Yeah. Dude, Does Manziel key, still have though, the next I'm about question. to say, because if both of them, say both of them get to heating it up the way that we think they can heat it up, that would become a legitimate conversation, bro. I don't think they're going to let Manziel back in. Why? I'd like to see it. I mean, well, I wouldn't mind us signing him. Well, no, no, no. Manza, I was about to say, what was his offense? But he was the one with dressed in the disguise in Vegas while they were supposed to be at a game. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. I just like, don't yo, think like, he's yo, coming what back. What you dude. doing, Manza? What you, you hear doing? him in his interviews, too. He's like, I'm satisfied with where my life is, man. This is yeah. like a better path for me. Everyone thinks being in the NFL, that means success. It's like, all right, you just don't yeah. care that much, which is fine. You, you do whatever you want in your life, but. I think he cares more about golfing, hanging out, having a good time, and then playing in this fan control football league I, I, and playing in the hey, NFL. Man, I, if, if that's what brings him peace, yeah, then for I'm sure. all for it, man. Do, do what you got to do. Yeah, I'm all for it. But I ain't going to lie. I want to see T.O. I want to see T.O. versus some competition. Like you said, since, since you're you, you're a little concerned about the, level, the caliber of corner that he was facing or corners that he was facing. He should be in the USFL. You put him there? I think you just keep leveling up. Yeah, I will say that. I, I do feel like Get it, give him was, a game with Manzo the here. The talent was definitely better in the USFL than I felt the fan control league, just based on like my initial observation. Now, I didn't do an in-depth analysis on either, okay, on either one of these. But from what I saw, I thought the USFL did have a higher quality. Well, they actually had the fans calling plays in that fan control yeah, league, too, it, which it is kind of really kind of weird. And it still feels like they weren't running the right too. route, either. Yeah, it's, like, it's, like, it's like real arena ball-ish, gimmicky. It looks stupid. Yeah. Whereas the USFL, I was actually pleasantly surprised. I thought that it kind of reminded me of the XFL and the AAF uh, from yeah. the pre- uh, the previous two years. The good crowd support, the cameras were cool. I liked the the USFL though. They had the uh, the running back cam where you could see the vision from the running back's Go helmet. Pro. That was kind of nuts. It was kind of cool, kind of Blair Witch Project ish as well. When I'm watching, like, whoa, I've never seen this view like this on TV. Kind of awkward, but I kind of liked it as well, man. I was thinking to myself, like, what does Najee look like when he's having to run? What is he seeing, man? You know, but nothing. Was, he's seeing nothing in front yeah, of him. Oh Lord, just a bunch <laughs> just of the just opponents. Jerseys. Yeah, it's like Lord Najee. How you? <laughs> oh Lord, that was scary to even watch from your vision. You know. But I did like that, though, man. I, I was a fan of that, man. And it was cool, too, man, just hearing some of these old names, or not old names, but names that, like I said, I'm familiar with. Just seeing them guys back out there on the field, man, making plays, man, having a little fun and stuff like that. So, 
Why can't we do for the USFO or one of these spring leagues, XFO uh-huh. next year? Manzo, mm-hmm. Kaepernick. Okay. Who else? Do we throw Tebow in there? Yeah, you got to throw Tebow in there. Come As on, a man. quarterback? That's God, son. Who else can we throw in? Oh, man. Oh, can I get um, Justin Blackman? Jamarcus Russell. Definitely Jamarcus Russell. Oh, Blackman, dude. He was a beast. Come on, man. Let, me, let me get Blackman. Let me get Blackman. Is Josh Gordon in one of these leagues? I think he's with the Chiefs still. Okay. Martavis. Definitely Tay then. Can, I get, L- can I get an elbow? AB. Elbow, yeah. yeah. Well, AB said he, I feel like, I AB's feel waiting like, for the surgery, and I don't think that those teams are going to be willing to, you know, they, they're not going to be as open to that agreement. <laughs> that's all. Or the $20 million uh, upfront contract situation with him and Floyd. I don't, I don't know if those guys are capable of that. The Rock owns the XFL. He should come back for a game or two. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you got T.O. playing at 48, yeah. Rock used to play back Miami. Why not put him at running back, see what, what happens? What, what about, uh, let me think, who <laughs> else, who else? Oh, shoot the Rock. You brought up Brandon Whedon. He says Terrell Pryor. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's that'd be a good, a good one. one. That's a good one. Terrell Pryor's definitely TPA a good quarterback, one. quarterback? Because, yeah, that's whenever he made well, his well, transition I thought he was to the a receiver, though. He's playing That's what I mean. Now, like, yeah. we hadn't seen him at quarterback in a while, so it'd be yeah. kind of interesting to see him. Yeah, I, I like those names. a good one. Hey, go on. Let me Peterman. Think. Yeah. I mean, this could be electric. You get Peterman Peterman's in there. in the league, man. He's not leaving the league, I know, man. but uh, just imagine of his up. status. He's stacking years With up. USFL. Peterman, Kaepernick, Tebow, Manza. I mean, that's four right there. If you got eight teams, you could fill it out with oh, other Oh, absolutely. Get, four get guys. your college guys. I mean, they already got the. They already got Shea Patterson. You just go back and find big name college guys who really weren't, you know, NFL caliber quarterback. You know who else? What about... um? Ohio State when I mean, they went Miller. through the no the big boy Remember Cardell was, Jones yeah yeah Cardell bad. he's another one you can throw him in there I think he was on one of those teams recently the XFL or yeah uh, AAF right I think he was yeah I could be wrong uh, maybe is he back up somewhere in the NFL no I don't think he is anymore I know he was in San Diego for a little while when yeah. he, he went out there with Anthony Lynn but I don't know where he's at now I have no clue but you no know, I mean yeah that's what we need that's how you Come get on, people man. interested right there I, I would tune in I would too I would tune in. I definitely yeah. would. Dang. So, real question is, uh, you know, they gonna do it again this weekend? Who? Oh, USFL. USFL. You tuning in? No, I didn't tune in before. I'm <laughs> so, not tune uh, no, in again. I'm not actually. <laughs> There's a Maulers game tonight. Apparently, got postponed. Oh, why they postpone it? Weather. Weather. Yeah, it was uh, raining. Right. And I think thunderstorm. Because hey, they're gonna stuff. play Tampa Bay. Yeah, but uh, what time is it tonight? Monday night football. Well, if the game was starting at seven, you said it's postponed. No, 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 it was postponed yesterday. Oh, so they were seven o'clock to tonight. Then. Yeah, so they play at seven o'clock tonight on FS1. Then um, Friday, you got Michigan Panthers and the New Jersey Generals. That's the team I watched New Jersey play Birmingham. Okay, when I tuned in because my man Scooby Scooby Wright was out there. I was like, Yo, that's my yeah. I see you. I see you. I think I'll make some tackles, man. It was pretty dope to see. But they play on USA on Friday night, and then Saturday you got the Maulers. The Maulers versus the Philadelphia Stars and the rivalry. Birmingham Stallions versus the Houston Gamblers. And the Maulers play on at uh, noon on Fox. On Saturday. Yeah, on Saturday. But they're on FS1 tonight at 7 p.m. Big Monday night game, though. Hey, man, I might have to catch that when I'm, when I'm you know, leaving my dinner, you know? There's no way I'm watching. These NBA playoffs look pretty good. That's oh, what I'm you're watching. right, dude. You're right. Shout out my man Kyrie. Oh, dude. yeah. That was great. Ooh, ooh, I like that. Not energy. only the play, but yeah, I like that. I too, like man. that energy. I like that energy a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fans are getting after you. Yeah. Throw, yeah. throw them a bird or something. Absolutely. Drain a shot, throw them a bird. And, and then go hit 40 on them. Yeah, yeah. I'm for that for sure. Yeah. It's disappointing how that finish for them though like he yeah. brought him back into it then i think he he dribbled way too much on that last yeah. possession it was like bro mm-hmm. just trying to run like normal offense here he was trying to do it he all was trying to, yep and then yeah celtics just got the wide open shot for tatum yeah. at the end tatum dude hey man that was big that was a big game for it the was. celtics because i think that, if the man. nets win that they win the series yeah, now i think it's more that, up man. in the air yeah uh like it uh like it you know what else i'm watching though man anthony edwards yeah. Yo, with, with the Timberwolves, I like him. I oh, like yeah. him a lot. He yeah. Was, I haven't been watching any NBA, but I've been following enough to know after like he's had, been really yeah. hot second half of the year. Yeah, absolutely. And then after they had their whole, you know, we are the champions moment after winning the play-in <laughs> game, they've actually been staying consistent, you know? I don't think anyone would have been upset about that 
if Pat Beverly wasn't on the team. I would agree, but Pat <laughs> Beverly takes it to a whole nother level. It would have been like a, a cute yeah. thing, like, oh, man, look at this level. young Timberwolves team. They're just having yeah. fun. But if Pat Beverly's involved, it's, it's like, like oh, I can't like, stand oh, it. Get him out of here. Hell no. I can't stand it. This is annoying as hell. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> no, I like that, man. No, the playoffs have been fun, though. No, they definitely have been, man. They definitely have. I, I'm low-key. Like, I remember initially, I wasn't a fan of, like, the play-in. I, I don't like it. I I like. I it. think Clippers should be in. That's that's bullshit. How Pelicans got in. But see, I like the play in in the sense of like, man, you're gonna get a chance to see two more teams that really wouldn't be in the postseason get an opportunity to ball, get an opportunity it's to show something. Yeah, it's good for entertainment, I think. But yeah, man, what were they? They were like six or seven games. Mm-hmm. Ab- or the Clippers were six or seven games above the Pelicans. It's like, all right, they should just be in the playoffs. Yeah. Why are we doing this one game elimination just let thing between it, man. those two? I don't just let like them get that. After it a little bit. Maybe man. it's because I wanted the hope that Kawhi was going to be oh, back. Oh lord, and him man. and George yeah, going yeah, a little yeah, run yeah, or yeah. something. He's going to be back in twenty twenty four. Just keep waiting. Yeah, he's. I mean, yeah. obviously he's done now. Yeah. But that's such a what if with those Clippers, dude. Mm-hmm. Every year, every year. But it's cool, man, because the Lakers finna get Doc Rivers, and we finna spend the block and be nice. So I ain't tripping. Doc, Doc's the answer to the solution. Come on, man. They're the problem. Come on, man. Bring him back to LA one more time. But now you're going to into the real side of the locker room, not the fake side. He was going to the Clipper side. It ain't the real thing out there, man. <laughs> Only one team won that and won that chip. That's all I'm saying, man. 